नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लर्न एस टी एम एल विथ नंदू जाधव एंड टूडेज आवर टॉपिक इज सी एस एस एक्चुअली दिस सी एस एस मीन्स कैस्केडिंग स्टाइल सीट्स वी विल डिस्कस इन टू पार्ट सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस कैस्केडिंग स्टाइल सीट्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी विल नो बेसिक information regarding this css first one that the css is one of the most important component introduced in html 4.0 this css is standard approved and recommended by w3c that the world wide web consortium this css were essentially used to give more control to the developer to styling the web documents to styling the page layout as well using this css we can apply formatting effects to the multiple contents or multiple web pages at a glance which automatically saves the lot of works and time also this css allows you to control the look and feel of several web pages by changing a single source this css is mainly introduced to apply more formatting effects to the web contents because in html 4.0 as well as when this html uh, uh, for before the launching of the html 5.0 there are so many limitations Uh, in html 4.0 for example to apply the font size effect when you want to apply the font size when you want to display the fonts or our text in large size there is a limitation that we can only increase the font size maximum up to 7 points but here by using the css we can increase the font size as we decide as we like so such like there are so many limitations regarding the formatting effect to the text to remove that all limitations regarding the formatting effect this css is introduced okay so we'll start the css first we'll see the syntax of this css this is syntax of the css is mainly divided into two part first one that is a selector and the second one that is the declaration block if we see with the example here see the example see the syntax that the p and within the curly brackets there are something text in this above example this p is a selector selectors there are multiple type of selector we will discuss the selectors all selectors available in css in our next video but here the p is a selector remember and the contents which are placed within the curly brackets this all curly with curly brackets we will see the declaration block within this declaration block color and font size these are all the properties used to the selector p okay and the magenta as well as this 20 are the respected values of the color and font size property okay here also remember that the colon this colon this colon is used as a equal to symbol whereas this semicolon is used as a separate or as a separator of the multiple properties when you want to add another property at that time you need to give semicolon here and need to use another property within the curly bracket okay so this is the syntax for the css next one we will see the types of css actually there are three types of the css the first one is inline css second one is internal css and third one is the external css we will discuss one by one sequentially all these types of this css with example so we will see the first one that is the inline css actually this inline css is mainly used to apply style to the single line to the sing single statement to the single element specially this inline css 
is used when the contents if the contents of the whole web page is unique to apply these styles to that unique statement actually this inline css method is used that means this is used to apply only single time not a multiple time while applying this inline css method html provide a style keyword as an attribute of any html tag okay we will see with the example we will clear all the concept here if we see the example here of inline css see here this is the output of our web page actually a small output to understand very well this page contains three different paragraph the this one is the first paragraph see this one is the first paragraph this one is the second paragraph and this is one is the third paragraph but here the middle paragraph that the second paragraph takes is displayed with different than the first paragraph third paragraph because the inline style or the inline css method is only applied to this one okay if you see its source code then see here html head title that is the regular html uh, code structure then within the body the our first paragraph is started here this is the first paragraph this is the normal text the second paragraph is here and the third paragraph is given here okay to the second that the middle paragraph the style keyword is used as an attribute of this p tag clear and here within the double quotation within the double quotation the color background and font size are the properties used to apply style to the second paragraph here the color that the font color is used as a white background color is given that the highlight color is given as a black and font size is increased to 20 20 pixels not of points remember okay so only these p when you use p style up to this one this style is only limited to this paragraph only if we close this paragraph here or when you start a new paragraph automatically the style or the effect of this style will be automatically close will be automatically stop here that means this one is the inline CSS only used to a single line or a single statement or a single word. Here, by using this p tag or using this p tag, there is no any effect of the color white, background color black, and font size 20 will be displayed. So, this one is the inline CSS used to apply style to unique text, unique content, unique statement of our web page. There is no any uh, repetitions of this style okay so this one is the inline css now we will see the next one next one is the internal css we can say uh, embedded style sheet also this method is used to apply css on a single web page or a single document if we compare this uh, internal CSS to the inline CSS. In inline CSS, we can apply that style to the single statement or a single line. But here in the internal CSS method, we can apply that style to the multiple statement, to the multiple uh, contents or phrases of a single web page only. Remember, while creating this internal CSS, we can also apply this style to whole web page at a glance also. Remember. Here to apply this internal CSS, HTML provides style tag. In inline CSS, this style tag is used as a keyword, as an attribute of any HTML tag. But here in internal CSS, HTML provides separate style tag. And this style tag is placed within the head section of the HTML document. Okay. If we see the example, we will see two examples here. In the first example, we will see internal CSS here is a single line single paragraph and this is an example of internal CSS here internal CSS or that is the separate word as like this is an example of style and embedded is another word that means the same style is applied 
एट द मल्टीपल पोजिशन एट द मल्टीपल लोकेशन एट द मल्टीपल वर्ड्स ओके इफ यू सी दी सोर्स कोड हियर सी हियर एज लाइक दिस वन एस टेम हेड टाइटल and within the title there is a style tag this style tag is paired tag and its closing is compulsory and within the opening and closing style tag all your declaration statements of the internal or embedded style sheet is placed here here the b is a selector already we discussed the syntax of css is like same like this one that the b is a selector okay and within the curly bracket the opening and curly bracket all the properties which we want to use to apply style are placed here there is no any limitation that we can use two properties single properties you can use multiple but valid properties within the opening and curly brackets remember here to the b selector b is a tag remember b is a tag and to this tag to this selector background first one that the background means background color color means font color and font size these three properties are used okay here this b tag is used multiple times this here this is an example of b when you close open this b this b tag is closed here but another time when within this web page when you open the b tag it is automatically this style will be applied to that contents that is the limitation as compared to inline css that means we can apply this style wherever you want in your web page so this one is the internal css or embedded css we will see it's another example see here another example in this example see multiple colors with multiple background colors will be displayed here we will see with source code here here see within the style within the head the style tag is used the style tag is paired closing compulsory and within the style we use two selectors that means there is no any limitation that you can use only single selector you can use multiple selectors here i used here uh, two selectors here that is b is selector 1 and i is the selector second okay just only i change the background color vice versa that the background color of the b selector is green whereas background color to the i selector is yellow and here font color is vice versa change font size is keep uh, kept uh, same for the both see here within the body once we declare this style within the head we can use multiple time within the body that is the a uh, special feature of this internal css okay here see the b tag is used here to the internal css as well as embedded word okay as well as this b tag is also used here to the angle bracket style tag okay and here this i selector properties are also used to the first paragraph also as well as in a second parables as like this we can use we can apply these styles anywhere within this document within this single web page remember so this is one is the internal or embedded style sheet and here once again i want to remember that we can declare we can use multiple selectors within the within the style tag and you can implement you can apply you can call multiple time to the single or this current web page so this one is the internal or embedded style sheet okay so this one the internal css next one the last type that the external css this external css is a stand alone css file and that stand alone css file is linked to each and every web page where you want to apply the styles we will see with example we will clear all the concept when we see the example second one the advantage of this third method is that it is created only once and can be applied to multiple time to the multiple web pages here we also compare with inline and internal css to the inline css 
we can apply this style to the single statement not a multiple statement of a single web page also in the internal css we can create a styles and use multiple time but there is also limitation that we can use that style within a single web page that style cannot be used to the another web page but here by using or the third method that the external css you need to create a only one time that style and can be applied can be implemented to multiple different web pages this one is the feature of the external css next when you want to use this external css you need to link this external css file with the help of link tag so you need to use this link tag and this link tag is used within the head section of the web page then we will see uh, what is the external css, CSS file and how it is created to create a external css file we need to use simple regular text editor like a notepad this external css file cannot contain any html tag okay if uh, and finally when you uh, create all the contents of the external css file you need to save this file with the extension .css if you want to see the external css file structure see here simple notepad application and from the first line to last line there is no any html tag but here multiple selectors are used so here were p b i u as well as dot nandu hash jadhav these all are the selectors you know p b i u these four are the html tag then dot nandu what what is this dot nandu what is this hash jadhav these all are the selectors and all these selectors especially dot and hash start selectors we will discuss in details in our next video so but see here in the notepad program we create external css file the file name here is a one remember the one file name clear if you see the example here of this external css file see here first one first example to uh, display the different web page effects by using this external css file first i divide our single browser window into first second third and fourth section that means we divide this our browser window into four different section and in four different section four different web pages are displayed see here here the first frame that is the first page this frame these are the frames we will discuss frames that the regular frames and floating frames in our next videos that the frames in html we will discuss in details but here remember only that is the this one is the first page code this is the second page code this is the third page code and this is the fourth page code first second third and fourth and all these pages are different okay clear suppose see here this is a top page content the content of first page is top page left page right page bottom page and some information is given here in the four frame but if we observe the font structure font style for each content is different here top page is in different font left page in different from you know that the algerian font here right page there is a different style is also displayed for the bottom page as well as here class and address letter there is a different something new okay how it is possible so it is possible by using this external css one by one sequentially we will check we will check the contents of all these web page with its or their source so first one the source of this top frame we will see here see here simple code head html head title and within the head there is link tag is used okay this link tag we will discuss in our next slide in our 
in this video but just here see link first attribute is used rel is called as relationship we will discuss then then see here the important one that is the href or href hypertext reference and hypertext reference is one dot css that is the this file this file one dot css is linked here and to link this external css file we need to use this link tag first just remember okay and the type attribute later we will discuss okay just here the external css file is linked and from that external css file any selectors or any style that you define there can be called here here only a single style is called here this is a top page contains so if we want to see the one dot css here one dot css or here we will see one dot css is our file one dot css one dot css there is a b selector is the b tag is to for the b selector there is a font family magneto and font size is 30 so this top page is displayed with magneto font same process for the left page we will see frame source see here link tag is same only here instead of b selector i selector is used and i selectors see here where is i selectors here is i selector and its font weight is bolder font family is algerian and font size is 20 so these are the different properties are used to the different selectors this color background font family font size or font weight uh, text decoration letter spacing border these all are the properties we will discuss all important properties at the end of this video so uh, don't uh, take any doubt just uh, read try to understand how uh, properties are used each and every important properties we will discuss in the end of that video so remember this one is the uh, second page for the third page for the third page we will see once again for the third page here that the right page we will see this source here u selector is used and for the u selector here remember text decoration is overlined if you see here text decoration is overlined the line is over okay second thing third one the style for the font family is tahoma see here tahoma is different font and font size is 40 okay then for the this one that the last one see if you see this one here uh, multiple uh, selectors that are defined in this one dot css uh, is used here u that the u selector is used for the bottom page already we discussed it it with uh, third one that the right page u then here is the class selector is used that is the nandu see here that is the class selector nandu there is a letter spacing 20 if you see this letter spacing here there is a letter spacing and this letter spacing is used if you see here letter spacing is used to class and id selectors so the output is like this one letter spacing here also there is a text with a border and this text with a border is displayed due to this selector jadhav that the border equal to double see here there is a double border the border color is blue the border color is displayed with blue font family is mv boli this one is the font face and font size is 20 so here once we define a style we can use single double or any multiple styles in a different web page and to apply these styles to the different web pages we need to just link that css file that means this one dot css file to each and every web page where you want to apply this style so this one is the external 
CSS book. Okay, this one is the external CSS. So link tag links the external CSS file to the web page. You know, we'll already practically we'll check it. If you see the syntax here, syntax is link one by sequence. You see here the attributes of this link. First one that the relationship specifies specifies the relationship between the current document and the linked document, and the relationship here is as in format of style sheets. So the value for this relationship attribute or property is a style sheet. The second one attribute is href or href and its value is url or css file uh, url of css file okay it specifies the location of linked document and here we already discussed that href equal to 1.css is given that is the value of that external file is displayed here or given here and third one that is the type type of linked file it specifies the media type of the linked document that means which kind of document uh, you need to link here may should be mentioned here by using this type property or attribute of this link tag okay so this one is the link tag which is used to link the external css file to any web page okay that the link tag. Now we will see the major uh, CSS properties that are used and that properties are uh, categorically uh, we will discuss here for the first one that the text properties that properties are mainly in maximum time used to apply effect to the text. So see here the property description and their values okay. So first one is the color already we use color that is the font color it set the or change the color of the uh, text and the values given using rgb red green blue or hexadecimal color or keyword means any you can do uh, write direct color name line height it sets the distance between the lines that the line spacing can be controlled by using this line height the value is given in uh, by default value is normal and you can give by a number or specify the contents by using this length in percent or pixel letter spacing is also already we used it increase or decrease the space between characters its default value is normal and suppose you want to give or reduce the character spacing letter spacing then you need to give the value in form of number of pixels okay text align also we can give by using this text properties and values left right center or justify text decoration already we used uh, you uh, see uh, that the uh, overline already we used there are also another values none is the default one underline you can give underline effect and the last one, last one that is the line through like a strike through effect we can use this by using this text decoration property of uh, regarding to the this text property text indent that the you can control the indentation of the first line that the first line of the paragraph by using this text indent and the value is given using length percentage length is given in number of pixels and the last property the text property is the text transform it controls the letters in an element its default value is none you can display the contents in a capitalized capitalized means just initial cap uppercase whole we will, text we will display in uppercase letters whole text we will display in lowercase letter by giving this value to the text transform equal to lowercase so these are the uh, important text properties that are maximum used while using the css the next one uh, we will see the font properties. There are so many font properties, uh, but important maximum time used font properties are see here font properties, font style, font variant, font weight, font size, font family, etc. These all are the uh, uh, font uh, proper font properties that the font size, etc. The from that the major one, important one, maximum used one that the font family already used. This font family means 
font face font face equal to arial font face equal to algerian like that uh, while creating uh, css uh, you need to use font family instead of font face okay but remember font hyphen family is the property name in the value arial arial black you can give any value font size when you use just normal html font tag then font space size equal to the value is given up to or within the 1 to 7 that 1 to 7 size for that font tag is measured using points unit but here the font size is given in extra small small medium large extra large smaller larger especially length normally the value is given or effective in all web browser that is the length in number of pixels so uh, remember the font size always give in a length in a number of pixels okay then font style there are two values mainly the normal is the default one and you can make the text italic like i tag by using this font style equal to italic font variant is another property of the font especially uh, this is used to apply the small caps effect suppose you want to display contents in a small caps at that time you need to use font hyphen variant equal to equal to means remember always remember that the colon is given and value is given as a small caps okay so normal is the default one and another one that the font weight and font weight means bold bolder these are the values normal is the default one bold you can give the bold you can extra bold double extra bolder that is the bolder light lighter and value you can also give to 100 200 up to 900 okay that means you can make your text bold or extra bold that is the bolder or light by using this lighter by using this font weight property uh, when you use practically we will uh, you will uh, perfectly understand uh, that uh, what is the actual use of this and which values will uh, uh, work with uh, the current browser so practically it's depend on the browsers another one that is the background properties this background properties are mainly used to the block structure tags that the div tag paragraph tag paragraph is a uh, a block a single block that is the paragraph or a table is a block level tag okay or uh, you can also apply to this uh, background effect to the whole web page and whole web page is also block like okay and to apply such like block level tags property you can use these properties uh, especially why one by one sequentially we will discuss here the background color already we use the background hyphen color just we can uh, apply the background color to the whole web page to the whole table to the whole paragraph by using this background color property and the value is given by using color name okay then suppose you want to apply background image to the web page background image okay to apply the background image typically or without using the css we know that the within the body tag background attribute is given by html that the body background equal to uh, image path that is the url of the image here also you can give background image we will see with example that the background image see here background image using css by default background images are displayed in a tiled form that the in a multiple copies actually the image size default image size is one this one is the single image this is the single image but when you apply the image as a background image by default it displays as a tiled format okay as a tiled format okay so we can apply this image as a background image but when you see the source code the source code is different see here see here important one and important to know remember the uh, syntax for this background image some uh, different here uh, i used uh, inline style method so after closing of this head body uh, body style equal to 
I want to apply this image to the whole web page. So uh, I use this inline CSS method. So body style equal to within the double quotation background hyphen image equal to this one is the syntax URL and image name which you want to apply as a background image. This is the syntax of the background image URL background image will be displayed here like this one as a tiled format see it as a tiled format see clear so this one is the background image you can apply then suppose you want to uh, apply the uh, to change the background position of your image and uh, uh, you want to display the background image as a single background image Okay, to apply the image, but a single image, not a repeat, not a uh, in a tiled format. So you need to use this property that is background repeat. We will see first this is the background repeat. See here, uh, this one is the background image, and this background image is displayed is a single single background image is displayed here. Uh, the contents are there background. To apply this image as a background image to cancel the uh, tiled formation, you need to use the background hyphen repeat property. See here, background hyphen repeat property. Okay, and to cancel the repetition, you need to use the value of this background hyphen repeat to no repeat. So, value for this is no repeat. That means no repetition will occur. The image will be displayed as a single image as a background image due to this one. We will see its source code first. See here body style equal to background image. You need to apply background image first to cancel the repetitions. Then you need to use the background repeat that is the background hyphen repeat equal to no hyphen repeat due to this no hyphen repeat repetitions will automatically cancel and a single background image will be displayed as per our given position you can also change the position of the image background image we will see later in the next point here so this one is the background repeat clear okay then there are another values to the uh, background hyphen repeat another value is background repeat equal to repeat hyphen x another value another one that is the repeat hyphen y another value for this one the repeat hyphen x y what is the actually output repeat hyphen x repeat the background image at the x axis that the horizontal axis the x axis to the x axis okay you will see uh, second one repeat y this is only applied to the vertically vertically as a y axis okay we will see the repeat x here see here the image is repeated to the x axis only okay due to the background hyphen repeat equal to repeat hyphen x if you apply the repeat y then instead of that horizontal line the background image will be appeared vertically at the y axis only as a single image will be displayed here at a single column clear and when you use repeat hyphen x y that means that the default one is displayed x axis as well as y axis that means repeat clear so this one is the background repeat property of the CSS. Then we'll check the background position. Background position here, background position here. The default location or position of the background image when we cancel the tile formation is at the top left corner. But when you want to change the position of that image, you can change it to the center or there are so many values that we can change see here the values for uh, the background position is 
left space top left space center left space bottom right space top up to center center means center only center you can write and center bottom automatically the image will be displayed as per the given position here the value is given see here background hyphen image equal to url image background repeat equal to no repeat is also must when you want to set the position so while setting the background position property you need to set the background repeat to no, to no repeat as well you need to apply background image also okay so background hyphen position equal to center there is no need to use center center if you give center center there is no any uh, problem then automatically the image will be displayed at the center okay then body style equal to just only background hyphen position equal to center and these are the values which will be displayed here these are the values important values that you can position your background image anywhere okay clear this one is the background position property then important one that is the background hyphen attachment see background attachment here there is no any image will be displayed here because already there is image as a background image no repeat that means there is single background image is displayed but if you read the contents background attachment consists two values that the scroll and fixed if you read the contents of the function of this one background hyphen attachment equal to scroll means a background image that will scroll with the web page when you scroll the web page then automatically the background image also scroll with the contents like this uh, like this output see here the image is displayed as a background image and is scroll with a web page contents that is the background hyphen attachment that is the scroll if you want to see the source code see simple that the body style that you need to image no repeat is also important if you want to set the position anywhere you can set the position if you not give it is default comes at the top left corner and here the background hyphen attachment equal to scroll so it scroll along with the web page contents if we set the value as a fixed then what happen see here the default or we set the background position at the center okay at the center when you set the value background hyphen attachment to the fix then what happen see here see this one is the background image is displayed at the center because we set the background position at the center and when you scroll the contents remember to uh, check the background attachment scroll as well as fix you need to insert multiple contents to insert multiple contents uh, that we can scroll the scroll see here when you scroll the content the image is displayed at the same position same point see here that means the image attachment is fixed at the given position okay and only the text or contents of the web page will be scrolled so we will see a background image that will not scroll with the page means the background attachment fixed clear so this one is the background attachment practically when we, uh, you perform it perfectly you will understood uh, what uh, actually effects and how this effects will be uh, done then another property is there related to the background property that is the background size this background image that we will see uh, that uh, we will see in the last uh, three four uh, example that image is displayed at the center and we can control the uh, size of that image background image by using this background hyphen size see here the background hyphen size equal to x and y axis that means we can control the size by using this syntax that the background size equal to 
100 pixel 200 pixel 300 pixel to that's one. that means we can uh, control the size of the background image by using this background size okay so uh, these all are the uh, css properties that are used uh, majorly while uh, designing we formatting the our web contents so thank you students we, today uh, we discuss what is css types of css and some important properties in our next video we will discuss all the important selectors all the display and float properties and all remaining contents of the css in our next video so thank you for watching my video so keep learning keep watching my video and stay at home still thank you